Hello, my name is Simon Scriver. I am head of fundraising at One in Four Ireland. Uh, we work with adults who were who experienced sexual abuse as a child. Um, now, as a child myself, I used to hate writing thank you letters um, and thank you notes. My mum used to make me send them to relatives and friends of the family when they bought me birthday presents or sent me money for Christmas or anything like that. I used to have to write a little thank you note, uh, thank you, auntie whatever, for um, giving me that money. And for me, it was a real chore. Eventually, I um, haggled my mom down to being able to, to do standard thank you letters. So I used to write them on um, our computer, our early computer, and print them on a dot matrix printer. <laughs> and, and with the little holes down the side, and we used to tear down the holes. Do you remember those? Um, and so I used to do all these standard thank yous and just fill in the name in, in, in um, handwriting. Um, which, looking back, is, is probably a terrible thing for relatives to, to receive. Um, but my mom said it was the right thing to do to send these things. Um, and I did them less and less until, you know, now I'm 35, I don't get any Christmas presents or birthday presents. Um, what my mom should have told me is that they're income generators. These thank you letters and these thank you notes are income generators. The nicer my thank you had been, the more likely I would have gotten equal or greater present from my relatives the following year. Um, and, and that is my, I wish I thought of that. I wish I thought of thank you letters. Thank you letters are the backbone of everything we do. It would have been nice to invent Bitcoin and the goddamn ice bucket challenge and all of these innovative, innovative things. Um, but the backbone of all of them, the classic is thank you letters. And I wish I thought of thank you letters. Uh, so my I wish I thought of that is here to lavish some love upon thank you letters. So so where did thank yous come from? Uh, where did these first touches, these gratitude interventions, uh, what are they like? So they started, um, like most things, by the Chinese and by the Egyptians, and they used to send each other thank yous for um, whatever the Chinese and Egyptians used to do. Um, eventually thank yous came to Europe in about the 15th century when people used to send them to other noble people for, again, whatever, whatever they used to do for cleaning their chimneys, things like that. Um, and then eventually they were brought across to America in about the 19th century um, and got really popular with the invention of postage stamps when people just, you know, they had nothing better to do. They'd just be sending each other thank yous for sending thank yous and back and forth, yada, yada, yada. That brings us to current day as fundraisers. Uh, and as a fundraiser, as a head of fundraising and as a fundraising consultant, I know thank yous are important and thank yous are income generators um, because the nicer the thank you, the more heartfelt it is, the more likely someone will repeat their donation. Um, and a lot of organizations don't see that. So we see in mystery re shopping results all the time, a lot of charities still aren't sending out thank yous because they're seen as a cost, uh, because they're seen as a waste of time. Um, and so organizations don't send them out or when they do they're kind of rushed and they're just pushed out and they're just um they're a chore they're like me as a little kid um just rushing these these crappy thank yous out um and so but the organizations organizations that are doing them are seeing the benefits and then there's organizations that are doing them well and i think we have a real opportunity um to bring it to the next level and make interesting and lovely gushing thank yous um i think i write a pretty good thank you um, but I think there's other really nice thank yous out there to see, um, which I wish I thought of them. I wish I was the backbone of all of these thank yous. Um, so, you know, even just by looking online, you can see some lovely thank yous, not just in fundraising and charity, but, you know, famous published letters of people, you know, Groucho Marx sending thank yous, um, presidents of the United States sending thank yous, and some really eloquently, beautifully put thank yous, which we could totally steal for our own charity things. Let me read you some examples. So... I mean, after you, after you open your letter with your dear Tony, your dear Bill, your dear Sean, personalized, then you, instead of going for that boring thank you for your generous donation, we have an opportunity to put in something like this. Raul Dahl wrote a thank you, and he opened with, I must write a special letter and thank you for the dream in the bottle. Lovely. Audrey Hepburn sent a thank you, and her first line, we could easily steal. She wrote, a movie without music is a little bit like an airplane without fuel. Beautiful and easily applied to your donors. Um, now, if you want to look at fundraising and the charity sector, let's look at one of the best, Lisa Sargent for Ontario Science Centre. She wrote, she opened with, oh, the cheek of her, she opened with, robots were comets streak, tide pools gurgle. When science comes to life, anything is possible. 
and all because of you. Beautiful. Um, I wish I invented thank yous. I wish I thought of them. I wish they were here because of me. Um, I wish every organization did them. I wish we sent thank yous. And I don't mean like crappy hallmark standard um, template thank yous. I mean proper heartfelt individual handwritten lovely thank you. That's what I would like to see. And so that's what I want to present on. I want to do my I wish I thought of that on thank you. Um, and that's it. As I need uh, mentors and I need your help and I need your support to get there to do that. Uh, and all I can say really is thank you for taking the time to listen to me. So, I mean, obviously, there's 7 billion people in the world all vying for your ears, all trying to get their message into your brain. Um, and you, Sean, Bill and Tony have chosen to take seven minutes to listen to me. Uh, and for that, I am eternally grateful. Uh, very humble to think that you have spent seven minutes listening to my annoying, whiny voice. And for that, I say thank you. <laughs>